Hi, I'm Melanie Sloan, the Executive Director of Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington. We're releasing our new Most Corrupt report today, and some of you sent in some questions, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to answer them. First, what inspired Cruz report? While Cruz Most Corrupt report was originally inspired by the blatant corruption of former House Majority Leader Tom DeLay. At CRU, we believe government corruption is not a partisan political issue. It negatively affects everyone, regardless of political affiliation. As Americans, we have the right to expect honesty and integrity from all of our elected leaders. Americans are all fed up with business as usual, and according to a July 2012 Gallup poll, cleaning up government is the second highest priority for the American public in this year's election. While the ethical bodies we trust to keep Washington honest may be asleep at the wheel, Cruz's most corrupt report proves we haven't given up on holding politicians accountable. All year long, CRU keeps track of allegations, both big and small, against members of Congress. Beginning in about May of each year, our researchers exhaustively go through potential nominees to the list to winnow it down, including only those members who've clearly violated federal or state laws or regulations or congressional ethics rules. Then we look at a number of sources to create the report, many of which you can access yourselves. We scour campaign finance records and personal financial disclosure reports. We review media and investigative reports. We rely on documents and reports from enforcement bodies like the Office of Congressional Ethics and state investigative agencies. And we even look at some documents that we've obtained ourselves through the Freedom of Information Act. Well, in past years, criminal charges have been brought against most corrupt report alumni. Most notably, former representatives Duke Cunningham, Bob Ney, and William Jefferson all went to prison for their misdeeds. So don't lose heart. Just because criminal charges haven't been brought against anybody on this year's list doesn't mean they won't be. Everyone at CRU appreciates all the support you've shown us over the years. Thank you so much for standing with us while we work to build a better Washington.